Hello, everybody. Praise the Lord. Um, so, <laughs> confirmation. Confirmation. So, remember the video we did yesterday about the peace deal saying that, wait a minute, it's like a Trojan horse. They're going to use this one and call it United Arab Emirates, but it's going to it's going to like encompass all the same stuff that they had on the first one back in January. Right. And, and, uh, you know, it's going to become the peace deal. Well, guess what? The Trojan horse has begun. Now I had no idea Netanyahu even said this yesterday. Let me, let me show you what he said. Netanyahu, other Arab nations to join circle of peace after UA, UAE deal. Listen. In 1979, we made Prime Minister Menachem Begin made peace with Egypt. <clears throat> in 1994, Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin signed a peace treaty with Jordan. And today I'm honored to announce a formal peace agreement with the United States, with the United Arab Emirates. Uh, I believe there's a good chance we will soon see more Arab countries joining this expanding circle of peace. Absolutely we will. And it has already begun. Uh, Benjamin Netanyahu thanks Egypt, Bahrain, and Oman for support of peace accords. It has already begun, guys. This is the peace accord, the covenant with many, or the great covenant that the Antichrist is going to um, strengthen. That's interesting. Now that I'm thinking about it, strengthen. It has already begun to strengthen just with these other countries' support. Now, hang on a minute. It has already begun to strengthen. So we need to really keep an eye on this, guys. This is very interesting. So remember, it's the Antichrist who strengthens the covenant. So... You know, we've talked about like a collective of several of the heads on that beast being the beginning of the Antichrist. And then maybe one comes out because remember the little horn comes out. So we got to keep our eyes on all of this, Lord, uh, guys. It's going to be very interesting. Very interesting. Um, so then I got this. This was from today. White House official seeks momentum with other countries after Israel UAE deal. So this is our announcement saying they're going to go ahead and talk to these guys. Let me see. They're going to go ahead and talk to these other countries and get them in with the deal. Okay. A little bit of uh, backdoor working. What were we just saying yesterday? That's what the Lord was showing me. There's something way bigger than just this little peace accord, quote unquote, with uh, United Arab Emirates. This is the peace accord this is the covenant that uh, the great covenant that the word of god is talking about okay i'm telling you um so they're already working it um and this i thought this was great rapture puzzle you know i'll tell you i i didn't watch her very much up until maybe the last month or so and boy she's been right on with a lot of stuff now a lot of people don't like it because she uh gets specific but you know what, you guys, I, you know, we've been talking about this with the team. We have to pick up the puzzle pieces that God gives all of his kids and then put them together as the Holy Spirit leads. And, you know, you chew the meat and spit up the bone, spit out the bone. So I don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Boy, a lot of, uh, <laughs> yeah, my, the, um, sayings that are out there, but we got to give everybody a chance guys you know obviously if something comes up like um you know honestly this morning we had a video come up that was very itching ears and i gotta be honest when it's an itching ears thing but i still listen just to see if there's any pieces that god wants me to take from it you know but this was really really good so i'm just gonna it's 11 minutes we're gonna oh it's one 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 11 minutes and one second that's really cool all right so we're gonna go ahead and play this an historic peace deal between Israel and the United Arab Emirates, which the U.S. helped to broker. Here he is announcing it. After 49 years, Israel and the United Arab Emirates will fully normalize their diplomatic relations. They will exchange embassies and ambassadors and begin cooperation 
across the board and on a broad range of areas, including tourism, education, health care, trade, and security. Only two Arab nations, Egypt and Jordan, have previously signed peace deals with Israel. Let's hear from Israel's Prime Minister. This is the greatest advancement toward peace between Israel and the Arab world in the last 26 years, and it marks the third formal peace between Israel and an Arab nation. And here's the response from the United Nations. UN Chief Guterres welcomes any initiative that can promote peace and security in the Middle East region. White House officials say that as part of the agreement, Israel has agreed to suspend applying sovereignty to parts of the occupied West Bank that it had considered annexing. I want to thank the leaders of Israel and the UAE for their courage and for their leadership to forge this tremendous agreement. It will be known as the Abraham Accord. And God said to him, as for me, this is my covenant with you. You will be the father of many nations. And I'm going to pause for one second. Yes, and yesterday's video, I totally forgot to say that they're literally calling it the Abrahamic Covenant. I mean, you can't even make that one up. This is completely biblical, guys. This is the covenant. Okay. No longer will you be called Abram. Your name will be Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations of you, and kings will come from you. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you, and your descendants after you, for the generations to come, to be your God, and the God of your descendants after you. The whole land of Canaan, where you now reside as a foreigner, I will give as an everlasting possession to you and your descendants after you, and I will be their God. See, the Lord is going to lay waste the earth and devastate it. He will ruin its face and scatter its inhabitants. The earth will be completely laid waste and totally plundered. The Lord has spoken this word. The earth dries up and withers. The world languishes and withers. The heavens languish with the earth. The earth is defiled by its people. They have disobeyed the laws, violated the statutes, and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore a curse consumes the earth. Its people must bear their guilt. Therefore earth's inhabitants are burned up, and very few are left. They dress the wound of my people as though it were not serious. Peace, peace, they say, when there is no peace. Are they ashamed of their detestable conduct? No, they have no shame at all. They do not even know how to blush. So they will fall among the fallen. They will be brought down when I punish them, says the Lord. Look, an army is coming from the land of the north. A great nation is being stirred up from the ends of the earth. They are armed with bow and spear. They are cruel and show no mercy. They sound like the roaring sea as they ride on their horses. They come like men in battle formation to attack you, daughter Zion. We have heard reports about them, and our hands hang limp. Anguish has gripped us, pain like that of a woman in labor. Do not go out to the fields or walk on the roads, for the enemy has a sword, and there is terror on every side. Put on sackcloth, my people, and roll in ashes. Mourn with bitter wailing as for an only son, for suddenly the destroyer will come upon us. While people are saying, peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly, as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. Hey guys, so I, I'm sure most of you have heard already about this peace agreement that's just taken place between Israel and the United Arab Emirates. Um, historic peace agreement called the Abrahamic Accords. Um, I just wanted to share with you, I believe this may be the fulfillment of what we read in Isaiah 24 about the breaking of the everlasting covenant, which if we go back to Genesis, we know that that was um, a covenant that God made with Abraham. It, it's an everlasting covenant that he would give him the whole land of Canaan to him and his descendants. Um, and so the devastation that the Lord brings on the earth in Isaiah chapter 24 is related to the breaking of this covenant. 
And basically what I understand has just happened is that President Trump has asked Israel to stop their plans for annexing the West Bank in order that they can have peace with the United Arab Emirates and probably other countries in the Middle East. The reason that this may be a fulfillment of the breaking of the Everlasting Covenant is, as we saw in the puzzle, um, there were two things that delayed God's judgment back in 2017. The first had to do with abortion, and we've already seen in June the Supreme Court, I think it was June, uh, late June, the Supreme Court upheld something that uh, or ruled in favor of the pro-abortion pro movement, and that was a sign that um, judgment was very soon to start in the United States. And then the other thing that happened in 2017 was President Trump declared Jerusalem to be the capital, the eternal capital of Israel, and they stood up for Israel on the seventh day of Hanukkah in face of incredible opposition. Oh my gosh, you know what? There is a scripture that just reminded me, hang on a minute. There is a scripture about the best friend betraying Israel. Scripture. I can't remember where I've heard it. I know I've heard it, and I can't remember which scripture it is. But it talks about, during all this, that Israel gets gets betrayed by their best friend. And that Trump jumping up and being Mr. Israel, man, you know, thinking he's going to be the king of Israel. Oh, gross. Um, that makes it awful lot like sound like the United States is their best friend. And you know, technically, with this accord, they're asking Israel not to claim sovereignty, not to annex, to, to back off and do the two-state solution thing. This is what's going to morph into that, guys, I'm telling you. Um, so there's something to this. So even though they made this happy joy joy deal, you know, they think it's this great peace deal with, with the U.S. between the, the United Emirates, United Arab Emirates and uh, Israel with the United States as the, you know, go-between here. There's something about the betrayal of the best friend. We got to keep, we got to keep an eye on that. I can't remember, Lord, you know, you guys, if anybody out there can remember, please email me. It is um, grafted in Team Jesus 222 at gmail.com. If you guys can remember, got that scripture for me, that would be a huge help. Um, but instead of playing this whole thing, I think you got the gist of it. Um, basically, it's they're calling it the Abrahamic Covenant. They've now got the other countries involved. This is the Trojan horse that we thought it was. And um, Prime Minister's already thanking these other countries for supporting it. So this is, this is the, the big covenant that the Antichrist is going to strengthen, which it has already begun. So now we need to figure out exactly, <laughs> or look to the Lord, be very discerning, guys. The, literally, the Antichrist is going to peek out any minute now. So keep your eyes out. All right, so we're going to stay on uh, live stream here because i got another some other stuff to do, but I'm going to stop this one. So thanks, everybody, for listening. We will definitely keep you up to date as we get more information on this peace deal. All right, get ready, guys. Antichrist is coming, Mark of the Beast is coming, and, and we're going to be the uh, first rounders are heading out here pretty quick outside of time, and then we're going to come back as the harvest workers. All right, love you guys, and we'll talk soon. Okay, bye-bye.